We've got some baby turkeys here. They're growing up quick, two, four, six of those. G'day, Ross from here, and this is my last wrap up uh, for this afternoon. I've been talking too much, so uh, we uh, I'm just going to talk about the chickens for a little bit. We did have, and I'll turn, turn the uh, camera around to show you. Up the top there at the house, next to the mango tree, or just across, just down from the shower toilet area there, we had this um, cage that you can see in here, with the turkey sitting on top, another turkey. And the other one that you can see over the back there maybe, let me get that a bit clearer, the little one down, on the side down there was up here in what is now my um, rest area if you like and it was sitting over there and we had a chicken fence all the way around here we had been running chickens up to that part and they'd uh, totally oh, basically denuded the soil and it was all weeds again nature was trying to take it back uh, so what we did with a whole lot of guys is we've got them to move that one down there and move that one and we, we went through before the fences got made and made the two of those, got the two of those down into the chicken area down here. So here we are in the chicken area and they've got a great area here. Can we put this one up somewhere? In the new one so I'm really disappointed that we we spent a big effort at the end of last trip trying to get the chickens in here and I really don't understand why they haven't taken to this could be that they I know the birds are sensitive um, some of this wood was quite uh, uh, rotten you know, it had, it had, oh look, it still is. I think that's what it is actually. I really do think it's the, the mold that was on, um, on the wood when we built it. So it's disappointing that we might have to rip it all out and put new. I think that this was okay. It was only the ones that we used to make that stuff. I think that was the moldy ones. I'm thinking that maybe if we replace that, but what I'd like to do is get this one here built uh, with wire around, get it sorted first and then try it with the same principle. And if they take to that, then that's, we know it's that. Anyway, this is the one we've got. Uh, we've got some baby turkeys here. They're growing up quick, two, four, six of those. Um, we've got dad turkey there and I think mother turkey's around somewhere I don't know where she is oh no she's out too all right there's mrs turkey she was just outside the fence so now they're back together that wasn't too hard luckily um, yes yeah, so our biggest problem here is the management of these things with uncle just just has no no clue no clue how to harness eggs um, not harness eggs <laughs> it's been a long day um, how to check for eggs and yeah you know, we do we don't even get any eggs out of these bloody chickens I, th I hope that we finally got them in control but I'm concerned that these ones he's you know they've had them around oh they sleep outside he said so I'm actually not seeing many bloody chickens in here. There, are, there seem to be a few. I know we've got rid of another dozen or something today. And obviously these young ones will grow up. But I'm sure there are a few more chickens than this. So I don't know. They're probably all up in the trees actually. Because they sleep in the trees. I just don't want them up in our tree up there. Oh yeah, there they are. Yep. So I think the next step we're going to have to trim their wings because... But if they can sleep in the trees and stay inside the fence, oh, there's one up there.
Chicken, come here. 